Dear tenders, welcome you to the geography classes. The situation is forcing us to go this way. Please comply. This rather tips for this class is for you to be at home, stay home, save life. At the same time, keep your work going. In this particular class or session, what you call, we will be mainly discussing about how to proceed with the class 10 ICSC map pointing. Dear children, you will find through my assignments that I have mentioned that in the beginning of your book, you will find the syllabus. Please strictly follow the syllabus. That is in Italian, given the page number 5 and on, on the first page only. We will be mainly concentrating on few topics like mountains, peaks, water masses, rivers, and etc. etc. Please follow the assignment as well as the syllabus. While you are doing the map pointing, keep in mind these other directives. Here, your color is very very important. Use blue for any kind of water masses, for rivers, water bodies, even direction of winds. Use brown for mountains and peaks. Use orange for plateaus. Use yellow for plains and deserts. Now, when there are plains and deserts together in the map, Obviously, you will go for the desert yellow, but be back to normal green for plains. Otherwise, green is not used in the map pointing. Red is used for passes, magnitude, longitudes, and latitudes. And very important, use only pencil colors, no crayons, no wax color. This is our syllabus. You can see boys, this is our syllabus, please go through the syllabus and I have already mentioned to you, if you go through the assignment process, always I have given you the page number where you find. Your book is well designed, the syllabus you will find in the beginning of the book, however, everything is demonstrated, explained and given in your book towards the end of your book. For instance, you are doing the map strong, the latitudes and longitudes given on page number 253, mountains on 254, and uh, plateaus 255, etc. etc. You can go like this. This is for your map pointing. Now, since you have already done in standard 9 how to do the map pointing about the rivers, the rivers, I tell you, you will use the maps. It is given by ICAC board. These maps are not found in the market. Fly, please try to download the maps. It is found in the website. I will also show you in the, the just after this. You will find the maps and the rivers are drawn. You don't have to draw the rivers. But the rivers names are given in the syllabus in the beginning of the book. Okay. So what are uh, the rivers are on page number 257 at the back of the book where it is given, shown, drawn and in the beginning of the book at page number 5 you will find the list of the rivers. No more, no less. Do only what are the names are mentioned. Now let's go directly for the map. Let's see how the map shows. Now you can see the map here, this side you will find the Indus river and along with Indus river you have got Indus, Satluj, Vyas, etc, etc, all the maps are here. Now this, this and you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 names, rather 6 names 
and all we will find there. Again, I tell you, please follow the syllabus and go to the last page where the page number you mentioned, the very are shown. Here is the you have got the whole of the Ganga and its tributaries. On the top you have Yaguna, Ganga, and in this map it is not shown, but you've got Gomti and five rivers on the top, six rivers on the top rather, and uh, three more rivers we have got here, Chambal, Betwa, and Son. You go down to Narmada Tapi, then from this side we have got Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, and Kaveri. In Krishna, you have got three branches, you can see that Krishna the main, Krishna and top part you go that Bhima and then Tungabhadra as down. Here you have got our famous Dhammada. We are in here, Jariya and all, all place. And uh, one more very important thing that you have to keep in your mind that Brahmaputra is only from India part. Only from here to here. Only from here to here, India part. Because it starts from Tibet and it has got an another name called Sanko. And when it enters to Bangladesh, it has got another name called Padma. So we have to concentrate this. So regarding the map pointing, I would first tell you it is a skill-based subject, a skill-based topic. Please practice at home. Please practice at home. Please download this map from the website you will find ICSC plus 10 sample map outline you can clearly get it regarding map pointing another thing also we say that please suppose you have been asked to for instance to show the Narmada river ok to show the Narmada river you just it will be black there on your back map, but you just with your blue pencil draw over it. Do not make a straight line, draw exactly as it is given. And then make an arrow and write the name river Narmada. But remember, you are expected to give a key or legend at the bottom or the other side. Give that legend. Especially when the rivers are there, if not, you will always find at the bottom of the ICC map that there are numbers that give it A, B, C, D, etc, etc. So, if you cannot write the name there directly, you can also write the that question number like A, B, then we will know exactly that which one you are showing. Now, children, it is very important, you will need to practice. When you download the map, store it in your laptop or computer or in your mobile, but uh, in mobile, I don't know how can you practice, uh, print out is not possible now because you have to stay at home. But dear children, still, your book itself is your best thing. If somebody has got the book, if you don't have right now, if you are not able to buy the book, please ask your friend to take a pic and send it to you. Or even the syllabus, if you don't have, the book you don't have with you, you ask your friends to send a pic and send it to you. Take a pic and send it to you. Then you can be well familiar. Please be well familiar because this 10 marks, anyone can score 10 out of 10. This is very important for you, for your geography. This 10 marks, please try to get all of them. Here we end for this map pointing and in the next session for this particular program, we will be talking to you about the topography, which is another important topic for you tenthers. Now at this time you can make use of it and be familiar with that. Thank you. Wait for the next one. So dear tenders, we are back again with another session. Our topic this time is topography. Obviously, you are new to this topic, but this is a very relevant, important for your ICC geography paper. It contains 20 marks, 
and uh, it is easy if you practice to score full 20 marks. So please once again try to be familiar with the topographic terms, their conventional symbols and of course follow these directives. Then you can easily be a good scorer in topography. Remember children, in geography you have got 50 marks from your scale. 10 marks map pointing, 20 marks for topo sheet and 20 marks for your project. So this 50 or so let us say half of your geography is today we are actually discussing. The project we have not yet given to you, we shall wait. But maps we have discussed already and now topography, how to go about with the topography. First of all, you have to get familiar with the topographic terms. There are some definitions, there are some symbols and remember at the back of your book you have been given some topographic sheets. The maps, you have to read the maps. You have to read the maps and after reading you have to make your answers. And to do that, just like if you know to know some scripts, you have to know A, B, C, D, the alphabets, these are the alphabets of your topography or topo sheet. Now, some important, some important for our time being, for some important topics or say terms that I have highlighted here. For instance, the representative fraction, it is called also short form RF, R dot F dot. Representative fraction, what it is? It is given in detail on page number 211 on your book towards the end last the back side of your book. There are so many terms out of which we normally use very frequently are of the spot heights, the benchmark, the contour lines, the contour intervals, eastings and northings. I will teach you. I will show you what is called eastings and northings. There are called four figure or six figure grid differences. All are given the page number here. They are in very much detail given in your assignments where I have mentioned the page number as well as the terms. Conventional signs and symbols are so many, too many. You can say there are too many pages in them towards the end of your book given. Page 23, 220, 232, 233, 234, and 235. Too many. Your question is, shall we learn all? Yes, sir. Practically it is all. You have to get familiar with these things. And then there are some particular colors also mentioned. The colors refers to this. Which feature, geographical feature is referring which color it is also particularly mentioned. Do not get confused with the map pointing coloring and with the topography coloring. For instance, in topography, the yellow color, yellow color indicates to greenery, cultivable land. Obviously, in map pointing also, yellow color refers to Planes. Normal. So, but please do not get confused with the colors that we use in the map pointing and the colors that are given as symbols and conventional colors on the topography. They are little different. So, do not please get confused. There are some observations. How will you know in this particular topographic sheet, whatever the portion is shown, what is the major occupations of the people? Again, we will pick up from the so many symbols are given there. And dear children, these symbols are in detail given or explained on page number 236. We, for time constraint, we cannot discuss all this in here because 
I'm just giving an overall view how you shall use your time to make yourself familiar with the A, B, C, D of topography. You do not get familiar with this kind of symbols and colors and uh, so called their references, then obviously you will not be able to understand or read the topographic sheet. Topography maps you will not be able to understand. Now there are some patterns are given, like for drainage patterns, there are actually four drainage patterns are there. Again, my dear children, I am not going to give a detail because I am giving the overall how to proceed. On page number both 234 and 240, you are being given four different types of drainage pattern. Then dry tree, trellis, etc. etc. Then there are types of settlement. Settlement means the people staying together or the people staying apart or the people are staying just on the sides of one particular lane. So along on the basis of that, again you have got four major types of settlements. Nuclear, linear, dispersed, etc. etc. You have got various boundaries. There are national boundaries, district boundaries, there are international boundaries, etc. etc. And then you have got roads, roads, many roads, different types of roads. Our topographical maps normally concern about the rural areas. Rural areas. They will find different types of uh, metal road, unmetal road, car track, pack track, etc. And then there are also railways. Railway lines are also there. You can also find there are railways, railway lines are also there. There are roads called motorable only on dry season. Now this only on dry season, motorable only on dry season has got a clear cut indication that this particular region of the portion which is shown in the map, topographical map, that this particular region has got seasonal rainfall. Seasonal rainfall. Why? Because only when it is dry, they can use this road as vehicle passing. Otherwise, other season like rainy season on that, they are not able to be used. So there are some indications. That's why topography gives us the indications what type of places are there. Then we have got various types of water bodies. There are tanks, there are rivers, there are broken lands, etc. etc. And very, very important, my dear children, is occupations. Occupations you have to pick up from the symbols which are explained, which are given there on the map. For instance, there is a railway station, there is a dark bungalow, or as you see, the entire map is having yellow patch. So, what does it mean? Yellow patch means the main occupation will be agriculture. If there is a dark bungalow or there is a railway station, obviously the occupation will be that people are going to office work, etc. etc. So, my dear children, I would always tell you as I have told you for the map pointing, you need to get familiar with this. And for topography also the same thing, please get familiar, ask each other, again if you don't have the book with you, ask your friends to take a pic and send it. With this, for the first slot of your map pointing as well as topography instruction is over, now we will again go for the chapter wise teaching, very important announcement. Chapter 1 of your book, chapter 1 of your book, you need not study. It is only and only and only for map pointing. Thank you so much.